I was doing like temping for a while, temping and work experience and mix and match between. And it's funny when you're asking for work experience at different companies because you send your covering letter and the CV, whatever you have. Um, nah, <laughs> like even you're like, I work for free. Oh, like they're like, no, like, or some, they make you wait for ages and ages, which is okay. But it's like some of them are just like, no, get out of here. <laughs> like a lot of rejections I sent loads of emails like 20 a day but this was doing my research doing like personalized emails to different companies like all the big Soho companies and in that time where I was doing all that temp work and stuff like for about a year I reckon one of my friends was setting up this thing called the Gordon show which was like an online music show you get bands in and you film them in a nice way light it well his brother was doing most of the editing I was just like helping out like, I just came along one day to help out. And he was like, oh yeah, you edit, don't you? Like, his brother's always busy, like, doing stuff. He was like, oh, do you want to like, help edit the show? And I was like, yeah, sure, I'll come and help edit. Get on practice up, get some lunch. I was doing that for a while. We had a few good arts, like Master Shorty, Blue Robinson, Ed Sheeran. I had, like, some notable bands at the time coming on and doing their music and stuff. And then they got a sponsorship from Roland and then it moved to New Treatment. It was based in Catford. I don't know if they're still running and we moved down to Catford. We had like a new director as well, which was Stefan Yap. He's like a big boy, D.O.P. now. He does like a lot of the music videos that you see like for British artists. So he was our director and he was like, so passionate, but yeah, he was good. And he was like, when we ended up going there, he was like, oh, okay, I'm happy to have you stay on as the editor. But like you've got to get faster and on your editing, your time needs to be quicker. So I was like, oh, which is always a thing. And it was quite fun going there. Then I met like a few people there, like Ryan, Samuda, um, Enrico, um, Mirko. Um, while being at New Treatment, I would edit the Cordless show, but then or they'd find like some other stuff for me to do, like stuff that the main editor didn't want to do, Dave okay, we got this fashion show, we got this online video or whatever, and I just kind of edit the things that people were too busy to edit or they needed someone for li little things, you know, and they would just give it to me, which was cool. Nothing really, like, solidly paid. It was just kind of like, it was very floaty. It was a good learning experience. After being at Cordless New Treatment, because it was like a joint venture at the time, I'd applied for work experience at Panavision like long ago, like, and then they, they sent me a letter, not a letter, they sent me an email and they said, oh, you you can come in now. And I was like, I forgot all about this, to be honest. But I was like, okay, cool. I'm going to go into Panavision. So I went in, I didn't know anything. Well, I, I knew a little bit, but I didn't know like about lenses. I didn't know about all the different kind of cameras, but it was good because you see like all the cameras that they have um film and digital that was when red was quite prominent i was going through all the film cameras mainly loading them with film practicing doing that even though when i got into the industry i did maybe two film shoots and then it was all like digital after that it was like red 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 and um ari alexa so panavision is quite cool because all the big films like all the big hollywood films would be coming and getting their kit from panavision and getting their panavision lenses and stuff like that so you'd see a lot of you'll be like oh we're doing alice in wonderland or we're doing this and that and the, uh, the other and you're like well, really right so it was good going up through all departments as well like maintenance the camera floor like everything um so it was really good experience going there but then after I came out it was back to editing again I was now trying to get into the shooting side of the industry more than the editing side like before I was trying to get into the the editing side but it hadn't really been panning out too well so I hadn't made much money really and like I couldn't find a, a solidified place I was just like freelancing like doing stuff for people shooting little videos and stuff like that and editing little things